Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. You ready to jump into uh, playoff picks? Yeah. All right. I'll, uh, I'll go on and give mine, uh, my, my left out version here. Number five and number six. Number six, I've got Oklahoma. I think Oklahoma ends up winning out. Um, or not wins, I take that back. I think they go one and one against Baylor. I think Baylor gets into the Big 12 championship game. I think that they beat Oklahoma this week. And I think that they end up beating Baylor in the next, because I, I think, hold on. I think that Baylor beats them this week and Baylor loses to Texas. So that would give Baylor one loss going into the Big 12 title game. That would give Oklahoma two losses going into the Big 12 title game. And I think Oklahoma gets the win in the Big 12 title game. Uh, going to Waco this week is going to be crazy. I think Baylor's going to be amped up for that one. I think they get that W. But then Baylor has to host Texas right afterwards. That's an emotional letdown spot. So that, that's how I think the Big 12 will shake out. I think Oklahoma will have two losses, and I think they will be at six. I think Alabama wins out. I think they will be at five. They will be on the outside looking in. I've got number four, Utah. I think Utah and LSU play first. LSU is my number one team in the playoff ranking. And then you've got Ohio State and Clemson at two and three. That I, I think that could be a very interesting field. I don't think the LSU-Utah game will be close, but I don't think anybody wants... I, I don't think the majority of the country or these committee members want to see LSU and Alabama, and there is no justification if LSU wins out to not have them at number one so you can't put Alabama at four. You've got to put somebody else in there. So I don't think that Alabama gets in even with just one loss at home to the number one team in the country because they don't want a rematch in that situation. Um, I agree. I agree. So agree. Go, go ahead with the – That means they will have had to have beaten Georgia again. So you're talking yeah. about five massive wins. I, I don't care how great Ohio State or Clemson look. That You can't – you just can't justifiably put them one of those two at one. And I don't think that you put – like the only way that they would put Alabama in is to have Alabama at number three based solely on eye test. Yep. And, yep. and and then you put Clemson at four, and you got LSU, Clemson, and Ohio State, Alabama. Now that would be, massive. That would that be, would be a ratings bonanza. Yeah. Um, so we, we, are, we are very, very similar in this. Okay. I've got LSU one. I've got Ohio State two. I've got Clemson three. That's not changing. And unless LSU loses, that's not changing because I don't think the other two are losing based on who they have left to play. Um, I've got Oregon fourth because I think Oregon's going to be Utah. I yeah. just think they're a better football team. They have more talent than they. And that's totally and my, reasonable. My only knock on Utah because I had some Utah guy calling me out yes last week. Look, man, you don't have a single big win on the season. Yeah. Like, I, okay, that's not true. You got Washington on the road at Washington. That is a big win in retrospects of big wins. But where does Washington fall? Well, but that's also Oregon's biggest win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. But so, Oregon's got the best loss. So if you're telling me that I've got to got to pick one of those two, I'm picking. They both have the same big win. Yeah. Which is not really a great win, but it's it's good. But oh, so now who has the better loss? Well, the better loss comes to a team that came down to the South and played Auburn. Yeah, no, you're you're 100 right, 100 right. Well, so we're really close. We both think the Pac-12 winners getting in. I would love to see Baylor get in. I would love to see them get in. I think they either have to go undefeated or they have to beat Oklahoma at least twice, and maybe they could lose to Texas as a one-loss team. I, I think they need. I don't think that's going to get there. I, I well, think one loss Big Twelve champion would be better than the the Pac twelve champion. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Well, as far as resume, yeah. I just I, I wonder about. I know it's ridic- the name Cashier. Whoa, 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 whoa. you talking about? You don't think Baylor's as big of a name as Utah? I, no, no, no. I, because in in my situation, like I, I don't know. I also wonder about all the stuff that happened before, which is not fair. I know, but they're not gonna take that into effect one iota. You don't not, think so? Not one iota. I, I wondered when they came out and ranked them at 12, like whether that had anything to do with it. Nope. Nope. Because why would they have ranked Minnesota at 17? They did it because they're morons. That's why they did it. You're they probably don't know right. what the hell they're doing. Yeah. They have a bunch of senators and athletic directors that don't know shit about this game and old school coaches that don't know anything about analytics. That That's the reason they're not coaching, by the way, because, because the game has passed them on. Yeah. So that's why. And they're no, putting their friends in and not the people that, 
that they that are new up and coming blood. Yeah. No, you're you're right. You're right. I'll tell you this: if Minnesota goes undefeated and they play Ohio State in any kind of game whatsoever in the Big Ten championship game, and that's their only loss, they will get in. We will get two Big Ten teams in. That is. That'll happen. Whew. Man, that's nuts. Now that means they got to show up for Ohio State, and they've got to win out. So they've still got. Yeah, that, they, that would be three big games. I think they just blow through Northwestern. Sorry, guys. Oh yeah. And um, and that's that. Yeah. No, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I agree. Uh, I don't know. At Minnesota, after a big win like that, then they got to go to Iowa. I mean, that, this is a good spot for the Hawkeyes. It's going to be easy. No, no, no. I, but that's, that's what would have to happen. The back end of their resume would look incredible. They would have three big wins, and then let's say they get beat by, I don't know, 17. They keep it under 20 by Ohio State. Nobody else in the country's done that. No, you're right. You're right. I'm I'm curious. I'm interested to see what's going to happen. So this is it's turning into the fun season right now, and I can't wait to see it. Cannot it's wait. Insane that we wait until this is the only sport that waits until the last month of the year of the season to actually get off their ass and start doing something. Yes, that's the the schedules, and it's it's only going to get worse going forward because uh, next year is the the change for the SEC scheduling where you've got. LSU, Auburn, LSU, Alabama, LSU, Texas A&M, all in November. You've got Alabama, Auburn, Alabama, Texas A&M, Alabama, LSU, all in November. Like it, Nobody's going to play anybody until the last month of the season. And that's when everybody's shaping up to try and get into the playoff. So it, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue like this. And the Big 12 is already doing it. As you see, Baylor and Oklahoma, they, Baylor and Texas. They didn't foresee Baylor being this good. I think some people saw what Matt Rule was was moving towards. Um, that's also why they put Iowa State and Oklahoma in November. Uh, well, because, Iowa State, yeah, because they, they kind of had a history of going to Norman and giving them all they well, Yeah, but it, that history has only been two years, you know, two years old. So well, yeah. they created the schedule last year, and, and they're putting their tougher opponents towards the end of the season. Now, Texas, Oklahoma is always going to be in October around the state fair, but other than that, you're going to get those. So... I'm uh I'm I'm interested to see it. It's going to be fun. The playoff rankings this year or this week will be uh, dramatic to say the least. I'm 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 happy to see it. So let's uh let's go on and jump out of here. Of course, winningcureseverything.com is the website. We've got everything over there: videos, picks, previews, podcasts, social media, everything else. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe, hit that like button, leave us some comments, tell us what your top ten is, tell us who you think is going to end up making the playoff, tell us what you think we got wrong, and Go and check out tunicatravel.com. Tunica, Mississippi is the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. Go to the website, tunicatravel.com, to find more information about those. And we will see you all again next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com. Or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.